Hey y'all, what's up? It's me, Miss Ruby. Welcome back to Music and Beauty TV. I know I've been gone for a couple weeks, y'all, but you know, being pregnant is so unpredictable that it just is what it is. But I'm glad that you guys are joining me today because we're gonna do some highlights and recaps of my baby moon getaway. But before I get going, I just wanted to give a special shout out to the sponsors of this video, Scentbird. Scentbird is a website that you can go to and order a perfume subscription service. Basically, you pay $15 a month, $14.95, something like that, and they send you a new perfume every month. But the cool thing about it is $15 is affording you a different scent every month. So rather than having to commit to a $40 or $50 bottle perfume, or maybe even a $100 bottle perfume that you're not sure if you're gonna like, then you can pay $15 a month and you can try something new out every single month. They have like everything on their website, y'all. Make sure you check them out. They send me these three scents for me to try out myself and I wanna take one of them on this trip with me. These three scents were recommended by one of my good friends, so I'm super excited about it. The scent that I chose to take with me today is this one, the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. When I tell y'all this smells so good, it just smells so fresh and fragrant. I love it, this will be my very first time wearing this perfume anywhere, so I'm super excited. If you guys want more details about Scentbird Perfume and how you can get your subscription started, make sure that you check out the details in the description below. Use the link that is in the description below so they know I sent you. All right, enough rambling, y'all. It's time for me to take my trip. I'm super excited. Thank you again for subscribing. God bless you, Mwah. and I will see you on the next pregnancy update. I just wanna let y'all know that we've only been on the road about 25, 30 minutes, and we already stopping because my husband saw a Nike outlet. He's so addicted to shopping. Remind you, we ain't got a big old budget for this trip. This trip was kind of like, just like, oh yeah, let, let's let's do it. Let's, let's figure out how to make it happen. Hi, Hi. Just kick it. Man, I read that wrong. It's not, it wasn't three something, it was four something. Cause it's five something right now, I think. It's five o'clock? I think, I don't know. Point is, it's been oh, like yeah, an hour since we left our house and we still, No way. where's your phone? Oh, oh, here it goes. Oh, uh, shade. Did I really leave that thing? It's been like an hour since we left our house. We still ain't got yeah, nowhere. We already o'clock. stopping to get food. Okay, y'all. So it's day one in Vegas. We. Arrived. <laughs> it's day one. We arrived last night and we didn't do anything because we just went straight to my cousin's house to go to sleep, which was a blessing because we got to visit with family that we haven't seen in years and um, yeah, got a good night's rest. It was a great night's rest, but I'm still tired, y'all. It took me so long to just take. I went out to the shower last night. It took me so long just to get Two up and get miles. ready. Take exit 44 toward Washington Avenue at D Street. And now I'm like, yeah, let's hit the day up, but we don't have any plans. We don't know where to go, what to do. So we're spending a good deal of time trying to figure that out. But we already booked massages. I'm going to get a hand massage because my hands are on fire. I'm doing so much hair. He's going to get a shoulder and back massage because he's been having some pain. So that's what we're going to do for sure around 3.30 today. But... Um, we're going to this place called Hash House A Go Go, which was recommended to me by one of my clients. So that's where we're having breakfast, and I think it's like near the strip. So we'll probably walk around, look at some stuff, and then hopefully by the time we're finished with that, then we go check into our room, and hopefully then we can find something fun to do, something memorable. Because I'm pregnant and I'm tired already, so I ain't trying to be out here turning up like that. But I just want to do a few new things. So yeah, that's what's going on.
I just want to tell y'all how whack I am because I'm walking through this hotel casino and I am so tired and I feel like I've been to Vegas before but I never realized how fast people walk. Okay, so my favorite part of this meal is the latte, which is bomb, and like the rosemary sprig that's on top of my food. Don't get me wrong, the food itself is good. It's really good. And I have so much that I'll be able to eat on it for a couple more days. But this rosemary sprig though, I mean like, I love the smell of rosemary, so I just want to sit here and smell it. I'm going to take it back to the hotel with me, and maybe I'll like do something with it. This year's perfect attendance award goes to Congratulations, Mr. Boat. You adults now, shit is real out here. Love each other, lift each other up. I'm just fucking with you. Do whatever you want. But you <laughs> I need this. No. You hate him? I need it. So we just got out from Reflexive, wait, what was it? Reflexive Hands, hold on. Reflecting Hands Massage in Las Vegas, and it was awesome, right? Yeah, it was great. It was great. So if you guys are in Las Vegas, then check out Reflective Hands Massage, wait, hold on. Oh. Reflective Hands Massage, um, or Reflecting, why am I saying that? Reflecting Hands Massage, <laughs> no seriously. Right. The masseuses in there are dope. It's uh, very therapeutic and just everything was clean and um, relaxing and calm. It was just a great environment. So now we're on our way to our hotel. So I'm excited to show you guys our room. Oh, that's how. That's why. That's what I said. Oh, you're smart. So come on. No, I'm gonna grab all of this thing. Hope the door open with this guy. <sighs> our entrance into our resort. <laughs> this is nice, huh? Oh, it's it's uh. One bedroom, I think. We didn't need two bedrooms anyway. So we got a full kitchen going. What? What's good? She said dishwasher is stocked and loaded. We, oh, babe, I feel like we should invite somebody over so we can have dinner. Since, well, no. How about we go and buy dinner and we have a nice candlelit romantic dinner here tonight? Oh, okay. So... We got a nice little couch, sofa, chill, relaxed place. That is the Las Vegas Strip over there. It's gonna be lit up at night. That's gonna be a nice view at night. This is the bedroom. This is where it goes down. I'm just playing. Oh, and this is the bathroom. Okay, nice dim lit bathroom. I like the shower. Oh, that's a deep tub. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, and babe, we have two portions. Oh, the, oh, so that's the vanity over there. I don't, that's the one thing I don't know. Like, this is not ideal lighting for makeup. And, like, every time I go to a hotel, the lighting is always like this, and like for the vanity section, but it is what it is. What's in here? Oh, a washing machine. 
So since this is a resort, they told us, oh look, a vanity mirror. I wonder if it's on the other side, if it's a close. Oh yeah, it's a zoom. That's good, things go okay. Let's see if y'all can see my pores or if my makeup is doing the job it's supposed to be doing. It's not the point. Um, so they told us that since this is a resort and not a hotel, there's no room service that comes in. Wait, let me not say that, say that wrong. There is no cleaning service where they come and clean your stuff. So we have to keep it clean ourselves. And um, we're only going to be here for a couple days, so it doesn't matter. But that's why they give you the washing, washer and dryer. Shout out to the homie Ebony and her husband Jason because they actually own a timeshare through this company. And because of them and their ownership, then we were able to book this for basically free. We had to put $50 down and they gave us our $50 back. So that's what's up. <laughs> Won't he do it, y'all? <laughs> Won't he do it? Let's go see what Bay did. Dang. You found your comfortable spot on the couch. And already chilling and watching TV. Come on, not supposed to relax on vacation. <laughs> it's just funny because you always sit in the same spot. Just to let y'all know, my husband is addicted. Addicted. Addict. Addicted. Addicted to red vines. So I'm at the hotel room by myself because I just got so tired today, y'all. And I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do because honestly, the only thing I wanted to do was sleep. So I took a short nap and then... Um, my husband decided he wanted to go check out like a shoe store. He's a sneaker collector. If you guys are not subscribed to his YouTube channel, then check him out at CJ City TV. <laughs> so anyway, I decided I'm just going to take a shower and get refreshed after I took this short little cat nap. Put some clothes on, go get something to eat. There's this ice cream place we want to check out called Rolled Ice Cream. Heard it was really good, but because he had somewhere he wanted to go, then I was just like, go do that while I just change. And yes... I took my shower and I left my makeup on. And the reason why, <laughs> I'm actually about to touch this makeup up. But the reason why is because I'm just, as much as I really wanted to wash my face and take my makeup off, I'm just way too tired to be doing all that. So I just took a little wash up, getting ready to touch this makeup off. Then later on, we are, I'm gonna take my makeup off tonight, wash my face, and then we're actually gonna get in the bathtub. Oh, I'm really looking forward to us being able to enjoy each other each other's presence <laughs> should i say by the way speaking of enjoying each other hold on let me show y'all <laughs> so even though i'm pregnant and the enjoyment of one another is definitely different than ever before and i, I still brought these vouchers <laughs> these are some vouchers that my friends ah, had got us um these are some vouchers that one of my friends got me for my bachelorette party to obviously use once I got married. And we're basically about to put that to use a little bit tonight. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> but otherwise, yeah, I'm just looking forward to a chill night. And tomorrow, hopefully, I have the energy to actually get into a bit more than today. We're here at Bahama Breeze in Las Vegas. So my husband just woke me up to tell me. You need to put some clothes on before you do that. I have a blanket on. You can't see anything, and these are all women watching my sh uh, channel. Okay, so until it's men. They're going to see shoulders and hair. <laughs> Talking about... You still might like what they see. Talking about... Let's Tell me what you want to do today, no matter how much it costs. What is it that you would really want to do while you're in Vegas since this is our last day here? And I'm like, well, that's hard to answer because I'm pregnant. Everything I want to do, I probably shouldn't do because I'm pregnant. Like, I want to go zip lining. I want to go do the Grand Canyon experience stuff that you can do. I want to do, like, really outdoorsy activity stuff. If I was with my girls, I'd probably want to go drinking, go to a club. All things that are just, like, not permitted right now while I'm pregnant. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz.
finishing up our tour. We basically had to take a tour with this vacation club in order to get our room for free this weekend, which is great. Great tour, great program. I'm definitely going to get a timeshare. Just not today. Finally made it to Rolled Ice Cream, which is an ice cream spot out here in Vegas that we've been hearing wonderful things about. And we're hoping that it's as bomb as they say. Although being pregnant, I was very exhausted, as you guys see from the highlights. Um, the main thing that we did was eat, which was great. Why are you always chopping my head off? Oh, I didn't know I was chopping your head off. So small. Okay, if I tilt the camera up like this. Then I look bald. Well, I look greasy right now, so who cares? <laughs> this is the Just end of our trip. Up. The main thing that we did was eat, but we did get to try some new, some new food spots out. Our favorite place was... The ice cream place. Well, his his favorite place was the ice cream place. I, I really enjoyed the ice cream place, too. So anyway, it was just nice really just having time. I, t I kept telling him the main thing that I'm looking forward to is being able to not be at home, not have to clean, not have to cook, not have to worry about responsibilities, and just hang out with my honey, as I did. 
so happy. So thanks for watching our baby moon recap. Uh, make sure you come this back. This is for My baby moon <laughs> recap, including my husband, who's going to be randomly filmed. He's going to be joining me on a Q&A session coming up in one of the upcoming weeks. <laughs> what are you weeks. talking about? Because we're going to do a Q&A video. I told them a few <laughs> weeks ago, in case they have questions about pregnancy. All right, for sure. From a man's perspective, let me know You're about to hit the road. Make sure you subscribe. We sign up. Bye. <laughs>